Lord Jesus Christ. And once again, I'm Brian Hewitt of Morning Star Communication Network, Embassy Ministries, sharing in the truth of the Lord Jesus Christ as we give the wonderful truth of the Lord Jesus, His love, His time, His expression of, of each and every one of our faith. We are right here, right now, live from Los Angeles, California, enjoying this Friday night. And good morning to you from Asia, spreading around the world. Good evening and good day to all. As slowly God throws and blesses us with his new mercies and of each new day as we lift up, up our prayers and repentance. And we come into this time, God's endless remember of his love to share in the embrace of the Lord Jesus Christ to guide us into his loving truth. Into, his, into this expression. For in the master's name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we love thee. Tonight, brethren, we continue with a message of grace as we move into this evening's service. And it's been a very busy Friday. And going into what grace... The what grace does for us from Christ. What grace does for us that is in Christ. So we're going to be in 2 Timothy chapter 1 tonight as our foundation scripture. And as always, we're going to be doing some tab tests through the scripture. So let's get a clean sheet and notebook paper and let's go before the throne of God and pray. Dear Jesus, we love you. Well, our hearts before you are the reason why we live from the secrets of our heart. We think of a loving truth of the sincerity of the expression of the honest freedom Spell love that you bestow upon us. We think of the moment of this opportunity to take this message and go forth, and the whispers of you when to take us where you want us to be, to place us where you want us to be, to see your fundamental realities and basic love that can change the world through peace and love, peace and harmony, peace through prayerfulness of peace, not just negotiates, but prayerfulness through peace and love. In the master's name of Jesus. Jesus' name, amen. Let's get right into our foundation scripture. This you know that all those in Asia have turned away from me, among our Philigus and Hermogenes. We go into freedom from guilt of sin, that, that Christ the grace that is in Christ. And the danger of apostasy is very real, evident from Paul's second epistle to Timothy. Those in Asia had forsaken Paul, including the two names that I just mentioned. Some had strayed from the truth. The possibility of apostasy explains Paul's admonitions to Timothy, such as those found in the first chapter, such as those found in the beginning of the second chapter. Verse 13 and 14, chapter 1. Hold fast the pattern of sound words which you have heard from me, and faith and love which are in Christ Jesus. That, that good thing which was com committed to you, keep by the Holy Spirit who dwells in us. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1. You therefore, my son, being strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. To avoid apostasy, we must move into the revelations of what God lays for each and every one of us to guide us into his letter, into his law, to guide us for a sweet embrace of the renewing of the minds, the renewing of the hearts. We are living in a world that is so technically depth in there's so much depth to it. We must use it for the good. We must use it for the love of the Lord to guide us into sharing God's glory, God's love every, every moment that we have. To avoid apostasy ourselves, we too must be strong in the grace that, Christ, that is in Christ Jesus. But what grace is there in Christ? in Christ. And how can we be strong in this grace? In Christ there is no condemnation for sin. 
Romans 8, verse 1. There is therefore no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. We do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. But we have forgiveness of sins, redemption through His blood. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7. In Him we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of His grace. Yes! According to the riches of His grace. Singing of the truth of the loving God joy of Jesus Christ coming into this moment now singing of this new day singing of this love singing of, of the wisdom bestowed upon us for, whether it's a cup whether it's drinking of the cup of wisdom whether it's we're down to the last drop if we ask God anything if we believe in our heart that we shall ask we shall receive it if we have not it's because we ask not we drink our cup of wisdom we drink the realities that God has given to each and every one of us. We, got, we guide, we are guided through the, the depth of the nail, the depths of, of the blood of, of Calvary baptized upon our new hearts and our the clarity of our minds. We are fearless from God. We are fearless before God. We are fearless to, before the world. Let us lead this as an example and stop being parties of our own sinful natures and blaming other people for this problem and that problem. We have to go forward as our own leaders, as our own community examples to each other in the name of Jesus. There's so many celebrity ministers out there that their, their Bible study is equal to a happy hour at a bar. But we have to go. And we have to change this time. We have to change the world that we live in in the moments of a twinkling of an eye that God has changed each and every one of us. But we have victory over the power of sin. Jesus offers to free us from the dominion of sin. John chapter 8. Let's go to verses 31. We'll start there. Then Jesus said to those Jews who believed him, If you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Amen. Then answered him, We are Abraham's descendants and have never been in bondage to anyone. How can you say you will be made free? And Jesus answered them, Most assuredly I say to you, Whoever commits sin is a slave of sin. And a slave does not abide in the house forever, but a son abides forever. Therefore, if the son makes you free, you shall be free indeed. Amen. Indeed, indeed. Galatians chapter 4, verse 13. Nevertheless, what does the scripture say? Cast out the, the bonds woman and her son, but the son of the bond woman shall not be heir with the son of the free free woman. Romans chapter 8, verse 2. For the law of the Spirit of, of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. You can defeat the law, the, the, the curse of the law, which is poverty, sickness, and death. You have that power to go forth and change those in this world. You have the power to heal your own self of your own affliction. How does this, he does this, by giving us his spirit. It's Jesus Christ. John chapter 7, 37 and 39. On the last day, the great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out, If anyone thirst, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scriptures has said, out of the heart will flow rivers of living water. But this he spoke concerning the Spirit, whom those believing in him would receive. But the Holy Spirit was not yet given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. Deuteronomy 18, chapter 18, verse 15. The Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from your midst, from your brethren. Him you shall hear. Let us go and hear 
for the power of God to hear what God says to us, to each and every one of us. John 13, 31. So when he had gone out, Jesus said, And the Son of Man is glorified, and God is glorified in him. We come into this time. God's endless rhyme as we're expressing Romans 8 verse 2 for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death to move away for we are therefore strengthened by God through his spirit for the inner man Ephesians chapter 3 verse 16 Romans 8 12 and 13 therefore brethren we are debtors not to the flesh to live according to the flesh but if you live according to the, to the flesh you will die but if you, but if by the Spirit you put you put to death the deeds of your body, you will live. You will live. You will live. In the Master's name of Jesus, you shall live. Amen. According to the riches and the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, according to each and every one of you right now, according to the loving truth of the Lord Jesus Christ, to bring us to the inheritance by the loving Christ, we are here right now in Jesus precious name we have the ability for for the fruitful and faithful service Jesus revealed that we cannot bear fruit apart from him John chapter 15 4 and 5 abide in me and I in you as a branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine. You are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. We have countries that are bombing itself, like Syria. Two major countries are endorsing that. A good, I'd say, pretty close half of the country has fled to refugees. Other other members are caught up in just the psychological destruction of what's happening in their lives and from this prime minister destroying the country. Over 30 to 40,000 people have been killed this man is not a Satan, is not, I'm sorry, is not a leader anointed by God, but is anointed by, controlled by Satan. Sub-Saharan region has famine. Somalia, controlled once by terrorists, is strongly gaining its independence. How we change the world is by the power of prayer. We don't put a gun to someone's head and say, let's make a deal. We bring our enemies and forgive them. We forgive our enemies and love them. Doesn't mean we have to be in their life. Doesn't mean we have to agree with everything that they do. Doesn't mean we have to envy another person's lifestyle. We go into this time, God's precious loving truth, and move into this grace of God's love right now the sweetness of the, of the expression of God's own love gives us right now. Prayer is a conduit through which we receive wonderful blessings in Christ. Forgiveness of the sins when we, when we sin. Acts chapter 8 verse 22. Repent therefore of this your wickedness and pray God that perhaps the thought of your heart may be forgiven you. 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Are you ready to be cleansed? Are you ready to be renewed of the mind and given yourself that new heart? 
God is right now is giving you a, a key to unlock that treasure chest which is above you, which is before you. You are unlocking the perfection of God's wisdom to be blessed upon you. The wisdom and discernment. This is where we ask our experienced viewers and Christian leaders to bring two to three unsaved friends to their church. I mean, to, to this broadcast. So they can share in the inheritance of God's glory and love for you. With you. So they may move upon God's movement or the whispers of God's when they hear his task and to set them where he, God wants them to be. Romans 10, 13, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever is you, not so whatsoever, as you were once called up in the whatsoever of your own pathetic sin. Whether it's a lie, whether you're stealing bubblegum, whether you're addicted to whiskey, wine, and booze, and women and men, sin is sin. And all of us have fallen short of the glory of God. And we move into the understanding that God is married to the, to the backslider. If you are in this state, come and be renewed and redeemed with Christ. If you need to be recommitted, if you are addicted to anything, be renewed with Christ. If you don't know Jesus Christ, come forward. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That is all of us. Repeat this after me. Dear God, I admit I am a sinner, and I need your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ died in my place, paying the penalty for my sins. I am willing right now to turn from my sin and accept Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. I commit myself to you and ask you to send the Holy Spirit into my life, fill me, and take control. But help me become the kind of person you have always wanted me to be. That's my wife praise your name in the background. I am lifting your name up before the throne of God. But most important, the angels of heaven. The angels of heaven are singing your name before. Before the throne of God. Before the throne of God. It doesn't get any better than that when God's very own angels are singing your name before God himself, the creator of creation. Our first offering is to be the offering of obedience to get yourself into a faith-based, spirit-led church. Midweek Bible study, Sunday service of the saints, and fellowship, 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 which translates to ironing sharpened iron. To receive those people that God sends you away, the bishops, the prophets, the evangelists, the teachers, all in his name and for his name. We need to seek the truth of the understanding. We need to seek the truth of his love. We need to seek of the sincerity of the loving Jesus Christ to bring into this time right now. In Jesus' name. We sing, brothers and sisters, right now. God is calling you to be a traveling financial partner of our ministry, to be part of our evangelical team, our translation team, our medical team, to come into the glory of God by planting a financial seed to sow seed into this ministry. But the power is not in the sower, but into the seed. And as you, God will give you a vision of planting the seed. That's found in John chapter 4, verse 35. That your harvest is white. Your fields are ready for you, for the picking. You don't have to wait four months from now. Your return on investment is that your fields are white, waiting for the picking, and God's going to prune you because this is just one of many blessings come. And then God brings us from the vision to the manifestation. That the living word of God is always praying and revealing the manifestation of God's glory. And then, as Malachi chapter 3 expresses to us, that the windows of heaven will open up above us and pour down blessings upon us that will have no room in our storehouse to plant them to keep them to save them. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' precious name. We seek of this time. We seek of his love. We seek of the truth. We seek of the opportunity to move into the embrace of this time. God's love, God's truth, God's purpose. We seek of the opportunities that we are going strong in Christ. Strong in grace. 
But the grace of Christ comes to those belonging to a body in which each part does its share. Ephesians chapter 4, 15 and 16. We must bring us all through the winds of deceit, the winds of despair to the obedience to his word. We must all move beyond the distractions through the fervency of prayer. We must all move upon ourselves of being isolated and be expressed and hugged and embraced by the interaction with the brethren of the church, the brethren of God's people. Bring yourself to receive the grace of God. Do not fall short of the glory of God. God did not create you to destroy you. God created you to be a change maker and peacemaker of this world. Blessed are the peacemakers. For they shall be called the children of God. Let's go before the throne of God and pray out. Dear Jesus, we love you. We'll lay our hearts before you are the reason why we live from the secrets of our heart. We thank you for the opportunity to share in your love, the truth, the wisdom, and the discernment of your love. To guide us into this forgiveness, this repentance, and your prayers, so we, we can receive your new mercy every day. To be one on one with you, with, with the King, as we pray every day ceaselessly. To lift up our repentance, the Lord, as David knew how to repent. As David knew how to be that example. We're left of all in all that we cry unto, that we want to know ever so more every day, stronger than we knew you yesterday. Then bless us with your wisdom and discernment, O oh God. For the master's name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen. Brethren, that does conclude our broadcast for this evening. On behalf of yours truly, Brian Truth, the man of Anita Hewitt, we thank you for your time until next time. Do stay up to date with all of our news and information of our exciting crusades coming to your part of, part of the world in 2013. We walk by faith and not by sight. Au revoir, audios, good day for the people.